Welcome back to the HQ. This is just a quick update video. I wanted to inform you that the Behind the Business interview series that I had started throughout the summer is coming back. This Monday will be the first episode. So, starting on Monday, every week, every Monday, the Behind the Business interview series will be back on my channel. Now, I started it in the summer, and my original plan was to have them throughout the season. I got caught up with a lot of in-season fantasy content, of course. A lot of you guys are probably newer to the channel or weren't around when I did start the series, so uh, I just wanted to kind of give you a background on what it is. Each Monday, I'm going to be interviewing uh, someone that's influential or you know, one of the bigger players in the fantasy football industry and, and the space. So... Some of the names that I've had on here already, if you haven't already seen these, I would suggest go back and uh, and just check them out because they are super helpful to a lot of people. And I'll get to what the goal of the entire series is in a second. Uh, we had Andy Holloway of the Fantasy Footballers. We had Josh ADHD who creates a lot of the tools and models that the more advanced fantasy football analysts use. He works with Roto Grinders, Fantasy Insiders, so it was cool getting a data um, point of view on, on a lot of the things going on in the fantasy football industry. I had James Coe of the NFL Network, Brad Evans of Yahoo Fantasy Football, C.D. Carter, who is not only an author, but he is the uh, creator, founder of Draft Day Consultants. I am trying to get a wide variety of people, and what this what this series is, like I said, is interviewing influential people or, you know, people in the space who have a platform uh, in fantasy football specifically, and I'm looking at the bigger innovations in the industry because this is like a massively fast growing industry right now the way I see it you know and I'm starting to build a little bit of a platform but I wanted to have on these people who have been around in the industry for a long time and I wanted a wide variety of point of views it's really about pulling the curtain back and looking behind the scenes of the fantasy football industry and looking at things like the money that goes into it and the money that's made in the industry and the social media engagement and the innovations that are going into it because as this industry grows just like any industry that's on on the come up, right? There's going to be a lot of space and opportunity for a lot of new players to come into the game. You don't just have to be a podcaster or a blogger to be successful. And the goals of this industry, first and foremost, the goal of any piece of content that I put out, the goal of my entire YouTube channel is always going to be to inspire other people, to hopefully get inspired by you guys and to inspire you guys to start whatever it is that you want to do, um, hopefully in a creative way, because I think creative expression is a very, 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 very important piece of, of life itself, and you have to find a way to express yourself. So the goal of this series is to interview a lot of people with a ton of different backgrounds to show you that being successful, and it is relative to the fantasy football industry, but the majority of the stuff that we talk about in these interviews have absolutely nothing to do with the fantasy football industry specifically. It's how these people got started, because they all come from vastly different backgrounds. How they got started, their paths, their journeys, what made them innovative, what made them create their own platform. Like, What kind of value were they giving to the audience to the point where they became successful? It's all different backgrounds to show you guys that no matter like where you're coming from, who you are, what kind of ideas or innovations you have in your head, they can all work because there's not one right way to go about the path. So first and foremost, the goal is to inspire you guys to start hopefully creating and show you that there is a lot of different ways to do that. Second, you know, the goal of this series is to, like I said, peel back the curtain on the fantasy football industry because I don't like a lot of the things that are going on in it. And I think there is so much room for opportunity and growth and, and just all this so much to be uncovered. And, you know, if you're sitting out there and you have a passion for fantasy football, and if you are following me, my channel, then obviously you have a passion for this stuff. And if you've ever had like even an inkling, man, I really, I really, really, really implore you to start creating, find your niche, find your passion, find whatever it is that you love about the industry and go all in on it, man. And I think these series, these interview series probably have had the most positive impact on a lot of the people that have watched them so far. With that being said, Monday is going to start kick this series back off. Go check out any of the five episodes that I released during the summer. All you gotta do is go to my channel and if you go under playlists, there's a playlist, I believe it says behind the business or you'll be able to figure it out from the titles of the playlist. We had five really, really awesome episodes. I enjoyed every single one of them. We already have uh, about four or five guests lined up. The first guest on Monday will be Addison Hayes. He is the creator of ffstatistics.com. It is an awesome resource. It was one of my top resources in my draft guide. This previous summer, I had never talked to Addison prior to this interview. 
Um, and he's a 22 year old kid or 20, I think 22 year old who just graduated college. So a lot of you guys are going to be able to relate to him. He just got done at Penn State and he's trying to make fantasy football a full time thing on the right track for sure. But I think a lot of these are going to give you inspiration, whether or not you are an entrepreneur or you want to start your own thing, or you just want to get some kind of creative outlet, man. I really think that these interviews are going to help a lot of people. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know that it's coming to hopefully hype y'all up, get you excited for the series because it is probably my favorite piece of content to make on my channel, for real. Because at the end of the day, I like fantasy football and I like doing the analysis, but this behind the scenes stuff, the business, the marketing, the innovation, the social stuff is what I'm truly, truly passionate about. And for those of you that are as well, you're going to love these series. Um, so I'm going to start releasing the episodes that I already had on the YouTube channel on the podcast. And starting in two or three days, this upcoming Monday, January 21st, the first episode with Addison Hayes will be released. And we have a lot of, a lot of good guests coming on. After that, we have Jason Moore of the Fantasy Footballers also coming back on. Not back on, but another Fantasy Footballer. So I know you guys will be excited about that one. Interviewing him after they get back from the iHeart Radio Podcast Awards. So shout out to them. Hopefully they win that, the Best Sports Podcast Award. And we just have a whole uh, group of uh, awesome guests lined up for this off season. And I want to continue doing it throughout the summer. So if you have any guests in mind that you want me to try to reach out to and get on the show, please let me know. It could be anything from dynasty leagues to best ball leagues, to live events, to, you know, all of these different things that are just starting to make the industry what it is as it grows. And it's a $7 billion industry at this point, And it's only getting more and more and more engaging. So this behind the business series, I think I'm going to be able to look back on this in a year or two years when it's done and be like, this was the coolest thing, the most impactful thing I've done in my career up to that point. And I think I hopefully hopefully, hopefully at the end of the day, want to help you guys and inspire you guys to start your own thing. So that's it. Quick update. I know that wasn't quick whatsoever. This probably ran on for 10 minutes, but you know, I turn the camera on and I float. I hit record. We get the damn thing done. So Monday, make sure you tune in. I'm going to let that publish early in the morning. So it'll be there as soon as you wake up. I love y'all as always. Thank you for any of the support you've ever given me. That's it. So 